My name is Brad Park, and this stop for the 2020 Rutgers Virtual Turfgrass Field Day is the 2018 National Turfgrass Evaluation Program called FESCU. The trial was seeded in September of 2018, so here we are, September 1st, 2020. Uh, we're basically two years out from seeding. We are in the second full second full growing season of the test, 2019 and, 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 20, and 2020. Uh, a little bit about the trial. There are 132 entries in this, in this test. And to give you some perspective on the size of this test compared to other recent NTEP trials, the Kentucky Bluegrass NTEP test, seated in 2017, had 89 entries, 89 official entries. The upcoming 2020 finely fescue test, encompassing multiple fine fescue species, has 43 entries. Again, this 2018 tall fescue NTEP trial, 132 entries replicated across Three, three blocks. So I think those numbers do a good job illustrating the interest amongst turf grass breeders, the interest amongst seed companies in producing tall fescue and looking at new tall fescue experimental selections and testing them here at Rutgers and across numerous sites throughout the, the U.S. To, to determine, you know, do we want to bring these experimental selections to, to commercialization? As a very brief example of the breadth of material that we have in this trial, this is Kentucky 31. Kentucky 31 goes back to the, you know, the, the mid 20th century, so to, so to speak. And you can see how coarse of a leaf texture Kentucky 31 produces, how open of turf canopy Kentucky 31 produces. Compare that to this experimental selection and you can see a much denser turf canopy, better turf color, finer leaf texture. And these are the kind of things that we're trying to, to identify in these turf grass breeding trials. We're trying to look at you know, new material and compare it to older material. Kentucky 31 is a standard entry in this trial. You know, my personal experience going, uh, working with NTEP trials and tall fescue trials goes all the way back to the 2001, I'm sorry, the 2011, uh, 2000, uh, 2001 trial. And Kentucky 31 was, was a was a standard entry in that in, in, in that test, and it continues to be a standard entry in, in subsequent tests. This test area is being mowed in an inch and a half with a real mower. It's being mowed two to three times per week. Uh, an inch and a half is generally what we consider to be kind of the lower end of the of the of the mowing mowing tolerance. For, for tall fescue. Many of these entries are doing very, very well at this cutting height. There are other entries that are struggling a little bit at that cutting height, and we're seeing greater annual bluegrass encroachment into, into those entries that may not be as adapted to an inch and a half as, as others. A little bit about the nitrogen fertilization in the trial. We're up to 1.6 pounds of N per thousand. So far in 2020, that's over three applications. This is an ancillary trial per NTEP, um, NTEP nomenclature. Why is it an ancillary test? Because we're studying traffic tolerance in this trial. And we have just completed a summer traffic period here in 2020. Again, to review, test was seeded in 2018. Our first application of traffic was approximately one year after seeding, and that happened in fall of 2019. 
we again we just applied a summer traffic schedule to this test uh, during July and through the early part of August. 18 passes with the Rutgers Wear Simulator, 18 passes using the Katy Traffic Simulator between the 6th of July and the 20th of August. And you can obviously, you can see the traffic portion of the plot. The traffic was applied in a strip across the plot. So we had a no traffic portion of the plot and a traffic section of the plot. Kentucky 31, not a very strong performing entry in the presence of traffic and that's something that we that we anticipated this variety bandit maintain its turf cover reasonably well under under traffic this is experimental another entry maintained its turf cover very well in the presence of presence of traffic obviously we thinned it out but there's quite a bit of turf cover left to recover fairly quickly. Notice in Kentucky 31, you know, we've got bare soil present in those plots. That's going to take much longer for that plot to recover as opposed to some of those other entries where we still have adequate turf cover left. So we're going to continue to evaluate this trial for monthly turf quality in the absence of traffic and continue evaluating traffic primarily on a seasonal basis and we're scheduled to apply traffic in fall 2020 probably won't happen until early october and then in 2021 2022 and and until the until the test runs. thank you stay safe and we look forward to seeing you in in 2021 and our hopefully at our, our 2020